Married 50 years, Joe and Bertha Garza are now preparing for the funeral of their eldest of three sons. Their 49-year-old son, Greg Garza, is the San Antonio firefighter who was killed yesterday in what's being described as an unfortunate accident. Responding to a call, Garza in full gear stumbled getting off the fire truck right into the path of a passing commercial van. Our Jesse De Riado spoke to his parents who say they are grateful for the outpouring of prayers and support they've been receiving. Greg Garza's brother already had called their parents, telling them he'd been injured. But when his other brother arrived to break the worst news. A firefighter brought him home the minute I saw that firefighter. We knew. I knew. And I know he's gone, but I'm still, you know, in a daze. Much like their daughter-in-law, Sonia, they'd been married 10 years. She just can't believe that he's gone. Sitting where their son and daughter-in-law always did every Thanksgiving, they remembered his tamales. Even that was painful. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. But they found comfort knowing they'd raised a man with a kind and gentle spirit. So much so, outside his fire station, they say he'd rescued and raised a crippled kitten. He did that for a little animal. Can you imagine for a human being? It's why they say for him, firefighting wasn't a job. It was his calling, especially the night of a raging inferno. He had helped in the recovery of a fallen firefighter, Scott Deem, two years before his own death. And to think that he's the next one right after Scott Deem in the line of duty. His mother says her son was supposed to be at Scott Deem's station that night, but for some reason wasn't. So he was devastated, especially knowing Deem had two children. That's why he kept saying, I should have been the one, not him. Well, the Garza say they have spoken to Scott Deem's parents, who they say have offered them their condolences. Greg Garza's parents also wanted to convey to the driver of that van that they understand it was an accident, and they certainly understand the grief he's now feeling. In the newsroom, Jesse De Goyado, KSAT 12 News. Thank you so much, Jesse. Tomorrow, our KSAC community partners are holding a phone bank in honor of fallen firefighter Garza. Donations will benefit the 100 Club of San Antonio. The organization gives back to the families of local first responders. That phone bank tomorrow from noon until 7 o'clock at night. We're going to have the number to call in our newscast starting tomorrow morning.